So we can expect a blowout, of course. Let's watch Yamcha get his ass absolutely kicked. Yamcha actually still winning this fight. This shouldn't happen. Nothing would be crazier than for Yamcha to beat Broly here. Uh, but little old Yamcha's not giving up, which is better than he normally does. Usually Yamcha gives up and then dies. Well, either or. Broly's up uh, two bars of health right now. Let's see if this Spirit Ball didn't really change much. Broly's still up two bars of health. His legs are bigger. Like, one leg is like a Yamcha to Broly, except one leg on Broly is stronger than Yamcha, so... He's not giving up, though. I've got to give it to him. Yamcha would normally be dead by now. Yamcha going Raging Soul again, but letting Broly charge up all the way. Broly Raging Soul mode. Oh, my God. They're both... And then he snap vanished out of the one that would have broke his guard. Yamcha getting hits in. Yamcha dodging. Yamcha, what are you doing? Yamcha, what are you doing? You, don't, you can't win. Oh, my God. Yamcha did it. What's going on, everybody? It's Thundershot. Now, I was going to make this really short and sweet, but unfortunately, Jade Antastic had to have the coolest comeback YouTube video of all time the other day. So I'm going to explain a little bit more so as to not just one for one copy him. But long story short, I'm going to be making Dragon Ball Sparking Zero content, but like a lot of Dragon Ball Sparking Zero content. Expect it on this channel. If you guys will have me back, I will happily be a Dragon Ball creator again. Uh, as to what spawned this and where I've been and all that nonsense, I can explain a little bit of that at the end of the video, but for right now, I just want to tell you guys what you can expect. Dragon Ball Sparking Zero releases today, the embargo officially lifts, and the game officially unlocks for early access pre-order people at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, which is like 6 Eastern, I think, something like that, uh, 6 p.m. Eastern. I am going to be live streaming the playthrough of the story mode of the game over on my Twitch like always, but I'm also going to be testing dual live streaming to YouTube on this channel right here as soon as that unlocks. So be prepared for that. If you want to tune in for that, play the game along with me, or if you're waiting uh, for the full release, uh, go ahead and check it out as I'm there. What can you expect content-wise? Because I'm not coming back just to do live streams. I don't plan on doing a lot of live streams on YouTube in general, but uh, this is a big release, so I'm doing that. But content-wise, what can we expect? Well, what, in my opinion, was my best stuff was the Raging Blast 2 era and the Xenoverse 2 era. Like, Xenoverse, Xenoverse 2, and going all the way to Raging Blast. Raging Blast is the game that I blew up on. Do not get it twisted. Like, Xenoverse and Xenoverse 2 were huge launching pads, but I got my base from Raging Blast 2, which was an old game at the time I played it. Uh, but long story short, you can expect the full playthrough to be uploaded here as soon as I can possibly get that to you guys. You can expect tutorials, if they're applicable, because I feel like I had some pretty alright tutorials back in the day for Xenoverse, for Xenoverse 2. I feel like I was able to help a lot of people out, and I would love to do that again, if you even need it for sparking. Uh, but more importantly, I'm going to go all the way back to my roots roots, to where a lot of you guys found me from. If you didn't find me from the tutorials, because some of those got kind of popular, but my my stuff that I did that made me me in the Dragon Ball scene and who I was and what I was doing when I was making Dragon Ball videos, and something that didn't exist, really. Didn't really exist in Xenoverse, didn't really exist in Xenoverse 2, wasn't really a thing in Fighters. CPU versus CPU battles. That's always been my thing. That's always That, that was always my stick. That's what made me the happiest. That and being really sarcastic with T-Shot HQ videos, but that's a little bit different. Um, so when Xenoverse and Xenoverse 2 came out, part of the reason that falloff happened was because like I did the tutorials, I did the story mode, I did the DLCs as they came out, and like I do battles against friends, or I do team battles with friends, but the actual like fighting aspect of the game, like I'm decent at it. Um, actually, may I, I may have created a meta for Xenoverse and Xenoverse 2 with the Blue Hurricane. I kind of forgot about that. So like I, I can throw hands on a 3D arena fighter, but that wasn't what made me the happiest. Like, I love anything I can do to play games with homies or whatever, but that's why, like, the longevity of Xenoverse 2, for me, fell off. And it's why I kind of stopped making videos uh, on this channel. I've made a lot of videos on the other ones, but it's why I kind of stopped making videos on this channel. is because, for me, being able to commentate the CPU versus CPU battles, nobody knows what's going to happen next. You know, anything can happen. Yamcha can beat Super Saiyan 3 Broly. You know, whatever. We got Yanjirobe in this new game. We got a, the biggest roster, like, we've ever seen. Uh, and more DLC already planned for the whole thing. I'm very, very excited. CPU battles are back. That's going to be like my top priority. We're going to be commentating. There's 1v1s. We've got tournaments. We've got team battles. They've got point-assisted team battles. And if we decide any of that stuff's balanced, we can make our own point system. Uh, I want homies to come in and commentate just like the olden days. Uh, I might do a thing where they pick a, they make a team and then I make a team. And then we watch them battle it out. We see what the fuck happens. Uh, but yeah, the whole shebang. The whole shebang. I am so excited 
for Sparking Zero because it has been so long since I've had a Dragon Ball game that I could just do my thing in. I've been doing commentary, by the way, in case you don't know, like over on Twitch, uh, WWE games. We have our own WWE League that we run in the game. And again, you create your character, you upload it, and then I commentate the CPU versus CPU battles. Like, that never left me. That has always been something I've been very, very excited to do. I always love doing the commentary things. And I think I would like to be on YouTube the guy who runs the big tournaments, the guy who runs the big fights, the guy who will commentate the one-on-ones, the guy who will make creative and interesting teams to face each other, uh, you know, the stories that can come from that naturally, but like that is what I did on Raging Blast 2 that was my favorite thing to do. Again, aside from kind of being a sarcastic asshole with the T-Shot HQ videos, those were a lot of fun too. Um, and then helping people with tutorials, again, if applicable for Sparking Zero, but that was always my bread and butter. That's always what really got me going. Uh, once I got going in the Dragon Ball aspect, especially when theories kind of like I got to a point where I didn't like theories weren't for me anymore Like they were fun when I did them. Don't get me wrong But I got to a point where it's like that wasn't my jam It was always the games It was always being able to just let the CPU go nuts and that's why I'm coming back to YouTube again If you'll have me the reason this is gonna be different from when I kind of dabbled here and there in Dokkan um, is because like I'm not the Dokkan hater I once was, all right? I used to be a big, like, detractor of that game. Like, I tried it. It, it burned me. I didn't like it. I still don't love playing it. I think that's why I can't stick with Dokkan is, hey, those gotchas are expensive. And if, if your videos aren't making your money back and then enough to pay rent, you better off not playing the, you know, not making those videos because I, I was losing money on those Dokkan, uh, that Dokkan content. I just wanted to see you guys again. If you guys look back at the Dokkan stint from a little while ago, I just wanted to talk to my Dragon Ball base again for a while. That's why, like, it was it was awful. It was tragic, but in a in a weird way, um, it was really therapeutic to be able to make that the Toriyama video when we paid respects to the goat. When all that happened, I, I kind of got to pop in and say hey then, and just have a real connection um, with the Dragon Ball base. Uh, my love for Dragon Ball has not gone anywhere. Um, I actively watched Super. I, I you know I've caught all the movies. I'm very excited for Daima. Uh, to come out when it comes out. I'm looking forward to all that and I'm happy to Again, if you'll have me be back in the Dragon Ball community um, like holy like diving all the way in because Some of you guys might have checked out the stream some of you guys might not have some of y'all don't keep up at all And that's totally fine because I wasn't doing the content you were interested in fully get it some people uh, think that I died because YouTube just stopped showing you my content even if you might have still been interested in it But hey, hopefully that'll change soon algorithms and all that stuff um I moved around a lot, if you haven't been keeping tabs. I lived in Kansas, then I lived in, uh, well, I lived in Missouri about the time I stopped doing Dragon Ball stuff. Uh, went back to Kansas, where I'm originally from. Lived in Colorado on a temporary thing for a little while. That was over, went back to Kansas, was there for a little while. Uh, moved up to Canada for a year, I was in Canada. Uh, went to Europe, uh, stayed in Rome for a couple months, explored Europe, that was a blast. Back to Kansas for a little while, and then now I have just very recently, like a week ago, officially moved in. I'm now in Los Angeles, California. So I've been I've been moving around. Streams have been going great. Um, my content for Dragon Ball stopped again. The love I had for Dragon Ball never really went anywhere. It's just super ended. You know, the movies were cool, but I wasn't I wasn't out here enough to feel like I, I had a right. I don't know to make a video or make videos on the movies, and I knew it wasn't going to be like. I couldn't come back, come back, right? And I dabbled with Dokkan a little bit because that anniversary was hype and I thought maybe, but that just boils down to the fact that, again, I'm not a hater anymore, but mobile games, really not my thing. Popping bubbles, if, if you if you mess with Dokkan, God bless. I wish you all the luck in the world. I hope you get every pull you go for on the very first try. Um, unless that takes the fun out of the game, then stop. But, like, I can't bring myself... I just can't bring myself to enjoy the actual gameplay of Dokkan. The gambling aspect, you know, is always gonna always gonna hit that dopamine, but I can't bring myself to enjoy the other aspects of Dokkan the way that it should properly be enjoyed. So I, I just I can't properly be a YouTuber on that. Like maybe we come back for some hype polls because that's different, but I just can't properly be a YouTuber on that. And then Legends is in a similar boat where the gameplay might be more fun, but I'm still just I'm just not a mobile game guy. I'm just not. So I guess what I really wanted to do was apologize for being occasionally kind of being in and out, and now like. I feel flaky because I was flaky, you know, like not to my streams. I've been very solid on streaming on Twitch. I've been really solid. We just revamped the Let's Play channel, uh, Thunder Plays. I'll link that down below. Um, in fact, right now, I am probably test streaming, dual streaming on YouTube and Twitch, but I'm probably testing it with the Thunder Plays channel because when I know I can properly dual stream on the Thunder Plays channel, then we're going to go live here for sparking. So I'll probably go live 
half hour, maybe an hour before the official sparking release. We're talking 2 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time uh, or 6 p.m., 5 p.m. Eastern. I'll be live an hour before the release. Uh, Story Mode playthrough happening on this channel as soon as that release time hits. But like I said, we're going to be up maybe an hour before. Anyway, maybe not the most dynamic I'm back video you're going to see now that Sparking Zero is here. But I just wanted to tell you guys that if you'll have me, I'm back. I'm excited to make content again uh, for the first time in over a decade. There's actually CPU versus CPU, which again has always just been my jam. That's always been what I fuck with. That's always been my bread and butter. That's my wheelhouse. That's what, again, it's what makes me the happiest. And it's something that I'm very excited to be able to share with you guys again, uh, maybe even in live streams here on YouTube. Uh, but that's going to do it for me. This video is going up the day that this comes out. So if you are going to partake in any of that content, or if you are going to be in the live stream or the catch the videos when they go up, uh, fantastic. If you're going to wait, experience it yourself first, then maybe come around, you know, once you've had your own taste, once you've got your own fill of sparking, then you're ready to check out the internet. I fully understand that too, but, uh, that's going to do it for me. If you're going to catch the content later, I will see you in a few hours, but I'm Thundershot. I'm out. Peace late. And I'll see you again real soon.